this I lingered mid doubt and despair, since bondage long held me a captive to care. But Jesus delivered my soul from its chains. His precious blood cleansed me from sin's guilty stains. The world and its pleasures did tempt me to stray. I saw not the danger that lurked on the way. The toils closed around me. I knew no release, but Jesus has found me and given me his peace. Get right with God, his pardon is free. Get right with God, he's waiting for thee. Our Jesus is calling. Alright, so my testimony begins uh, with my appointment for my vehicle for the tire rotation, but God had a divine appointment in mind. So as I was heading to the car dealership nearest town, I went to open my file with them and everything like that with the paperwork and then went to sit down in the waiting room. And uh, there was a man that was sitting in the waiting room as well for his vehicle. And uh, my son was going through the magazine and journal to just read through it and look through it. So as the mechanic was working on my vehicle, um, so yes, uh, while that was happening, uh, my son was going through some journals and some magazines and he touched the cigarette box and the man right away smiled and said, no, 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 not good for you. And I said, yes, not good for you. Don't touch that. And so um, I realized the Lord impressed me to tell him, oh, but it's not good for you too. And then he smiled and shook his head. And I said, yeah, actually, I've been trying to quit smoking for a while. I said, well, um, so the Lord impressed me that he obviously is seeking help. And so I felt impressed to tell him, well, it's mind over matter. And also, if you have loved ones, grandchildren, spouse that loves you and wants you to be around for as long as possible, uh, this would help you, motivate you to stop. And he says he agrees. And then we started talking about different subjects, country living, um, we talked about the stress of traffic in the city versus the country. We talked about civil unrest, things that are happening in this world, and um, just interesting conversation. So after that, um, I my my son had took another magazine, and I was showing, I was asking to identify the different objects and so forth. And there was one building, and my, I asked him what this is, and he, my son replied, "It's a church, ch church, church." I said, no, Ananas, it's not a church, it's a house. And then um, the the man grinned and he said, and he talked about church and so forth. And then uh, I asked him, I felt impressed to ask him, are you, do you believe in God? And he says, yes. I said, oh, interesting, I do too. And the Lord impressed me to give him a glow track. Uh, and we were speaking in French the whole time, do mind you. And I gave him a glow track uh, that was entitled Fin du Monde, which is, means the end of the world. And then I started sharing with him how, uh, in prophecy, how things are unfolding before our very eyes and that we're living in the end time, that Jesus is coming soon. And he says, oh, yeah. And then he started reading through it, like reading through it like candy right in front of me. And the Lord impressed me to ask for his contact info, and we exchanged contacts. Since his desire is there, we don't want to force people if they're not ready for it. Because Christ, when he approached people, he had discernment of individuals who were ripe and ready to seek change. And so uh, the Lord um, showed me that. And we desired to work with him and follow through with him to help him uh, not only stop smoking, but overcome it. And be smoke and to be, um, to no longer smoke, smoke free. For the rest of his life so he could uh, his his grandchildren and people who are surrounded who care and love him 
could enjoy his presence as long as possible. And so that is that. Um, I just want to praise God for divine appointments. I had an appointment today for uh, the rotation of my tires, but God had a divine appointment. So in the day, it's always good to ask God, what would you have me to do today? And you'd be so surprised what he does and how he does things. So keep him in prayer, please. Thank you for um, tuning in and may God bless you. And let us uh, be lovingly to those who are struggling with addictions, substance abuse or whatever, because we should never judge a book by its cover. You'd be so surprised uh, amidst individuals who are struggling, uh, there's a need, there's that void that um, needs to be filled. So God bless and bye for now. Get right with God. His pardon is free. Get right with God. He's waiting for thee. Our Jesus is calling. Oh, come unto me. Take him, O sinner, and get.